my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what their silence really means. So, you know, what, why are they staying silent? Why are they giving you the silent treatment? What's the reason behind it? What they're really trying to say here? It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle. Okay. All right, you've got the devil here that has flown out of the pile. got an extra card for you here this is intense their lack of communication the their silence here is definitely whoa it's it's intense here bottom of the deck you have the king of swords and the king of swords is the seek of truth here there will be contact in the future but for now it feels like this is all too much for some of you here Okay, someone is really, like, your silence or their silence really is worrying you. Okay, it could be keeping you up at night. It's, it's a very restless type of energy here. What's going on with your person? It kind of has the, this kind of has the energy of a possible twin flame connection. Maybe that's why it feels so intense. You guys are so... Um, you're so magnetized to one another. You're so drawn to one another that even during a twin flame, you know, separation here, you're really able to feel each other energetically. So this, for some, for a lot of you watching, this is a twin flame separation phase, a twin flame separation period that you're going through. Okay, and um, I feel like you know this person that you're with, it, this feels like a mirror soul. Okay, and essentially, you know, a twin flame relationship occurs when one particular soul is split between two bodies. So, you, you and these two people, these two bodies, these two souls share a very intense soul connection, mirroring each other and almost acting as this, this catalyst for growth and development and, you know, transformation in each other's life here. So, it feels like you're both mirroring even though you know you're going through this no contact no communication period you're both mirroring what each other is feeling or what each other is going through and it feels like it's really highlighting some of your insecurities and fears you know it's really bringing that out to the surface here so i don't know that the both of you are ready for this kind of intensity or this kind of vulnerability here even this kind of intimacy it just feels really incredibly um, profound intense but it's also very enriching here okay so um, you know I can see that like make no mistake twin flame connections can be very toxic there can be a lot of toxicity and I can see that you know this connection in particular does have some toxicities to it here okay um, it, it just it can quickly especially when both parties or even you know one of the parties aren't ready that can quickly become very toxic here so you know, it feels like maybe the honeymoon phase of this relationship has ended here. And this is where, when this phase ends, you're now entering into this attachment phase, okay? And this is a, t a phase from the relationship where attachment issues really begin to appear and become highlighted here. And your love and your connection with one another is really being put to the test because you start identifying with your shadow side or their shadow side or even the shadow sides and the darker aspects of this connection here so there's a ton of push and pull your person wants to communicate with you but at the same time they don't know what to say like your person is feeling things intensely but at the same time then you know they don't know what it is that they feel here and it feels like one person is really attached 
to this connection and is doing the chasing but the other person is wanting to abandon the relationship and therefore they're avoiding commitment okay they're avoiding commitment they're avoiding you know uh, putting a title or a label to it here so it just feels like it's very um, it's very intense here Whoever is doing the chasing, I feel like they feel like that's the reward for them. The thrill of the hunt, the thrill of the seek. Whilst whoever is doing the running is the one that's ultimately, you know, causing this separation. You know, what's going on with them? A lot, to be honest with you. But just because they're not communicating with you, it doesn't mean that they've forgotten about you. It doesn't mean that they've moved on or that, you know, you've never really existed here. It does feel like this person is going to make their way back to you, but I, because this is... I feel like this reading is identifying that this is a twin flame connection. You have to understand that that might not happen as soon as you want to. And for some some of you people, uh, lists, like some of you listening to this, it may not even happen at all. So it, it's it's for a handful that your twin flame is going to make their way back to you. And what this depends on is really on the level of work that you and your twin flame are able you know are able to do. So whilst you're both separated, it's very important that you dive deep into these shadow aspects of yourself so those fears those insecurities that you have remember how we spoke about your twin flame being a mirror soul so what they do is they hold up a mirror to you and they reflect back to you your fears your anxieties your insecurities any personal issues anything like that abandonment issues relationship issues you know and they reflect to you the work the dark the work that you need to do on some of these shadow aspects on yourself or on the relationship and you do the same for them here so whether they come back to you and how long they come back to you or how long you get back to one another is really dependent on the level of work that you're going to do. And I feel like your twin flame does feel very drawn to you and they do have, you know, they feel a lot for you, but at the same time, they're a little bit unsure, okay? And when you're, it can be really challenging to commit to something or someone when you're, you know, when you don't have a lot of certainty here. I'm also saying there are not a lot of healthy boundaries here. Maybe your twin flame is already attached to someone else, is in a relationship to someone else, or maybe you're in a relationship to someone else. I feel like more growth is needed in this connection, and therefore this period of silence or the separation is essential. In fact, it's instrumental because when they come back, I feel like they they need to go they need to grow through what it is that you're going through so that they could come back in a healthier way okay and not in this devil's devilish kind of energy here so look for some of you maybe this is a case of you meeting your twin flame too soon but their silence essentially their the, this no contact no communication and their silence here is it's healthy in some way because it allows to facilitate a certain level of growth so they may they will be back i just don't think it's going to happen as fast or as soon as you want to but i think you know the reason you have to understand the reason for the separation is because growth isn't happening within the relationship and you know it and maybe you're the one that sort of invited this separation here you know it feels maybe you feel felt as though this relationship this connection felt so stagnant and you weren't able to be the best versions for yourself and it wasn't the healthiest relationship and maybe you you know asked for this separation here but it feels like this phase is the phase of this connection here okay there's a lot of codependency jealousy or even someone else being involved here and it feels like there's a lot of growth that lies for you and your twin flame here a lot of people think when they instantly hear like twin flame they think oh yeah that's their perfect match but they're not twin flames are not Perfection doesn't exist, first and foremost. Let's get that out of the way. And, you know, it, it that's very... If you think that way, it's very... can be very confusing, can be very toxic and very um, highly sabotaging to even think that way. Because it's, you know, it you don't need anyone to complete you or to complete your soul. That's absolutely your own personal responsibility. No one else, like, you know, can give you that happiness. That's your responsibility and that's no one else's responsibility. So... You know, the, I feel like there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I also feel like one twin flame is a little bit more mature than the other. One is more maturing while the other one is stagnated. That's why you guys are out of alignment with one another. Okay, even though you're similar, you're also, you know, out of sync with one another here. But you are, I feel like you are reflecting 
to each other, you are reflecting back to each other emotionally, mentally and spiritually with what it is that's going on. They will come back into your life. There will be a lot of contact, a lot of communication. I just feel like they need to sort out some of some of what's going on with their energy, which is that there are a lot that they're going through. I feel like even some for some of you listening, your twin flame is, in fact, they're resorting to substance or addictions here to kind of numb the pain or kind of help them cope. But it feels like your twin flame needs to do a lot of work. But it also feels like you need to do some work in the process. And, you know, will they communicate? Yes, they will. And there will be a lot of communication. You will go through, you will go from very little contact to suddenly a lot. Um, and it's possible that a new beginning might be on the horizon for you as well. Okay, they come back and they might want to, and they might be a better, healthier version of themselves. I mean, look at the stark contrast, especially with the color symbolism. You know, they go from the devil's energy to all of a sudden the fool's energy here. The devil is such a heavy energy. The fool is so lighthearted and carefree. Um, you know, they go from the dark and they step into the light so it's very likely that this is going to facilitate a lot of growth for both you and your twin flame and specifically for this connection okay so trust the process don't try to rush it don't try to manipulate it um, let what be be okay and these are your messages thanks guys for watching and listening please share support by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now